Consider the possibility that, somewhere within you, there is an unseen force that is responsible for influencing every aspect of your existence. This force is a silent, hidden energy that holds the power to affect your decisions, your thoughts, and even the things that you bring into your reality. Imagine for a moment that this force was in charge of everything and you were simply going along with the flow, not realizing that you had the ability to actually control this power. Do you truly comprehend the process by which your world is constructed? Your subconscious mind is at the center of this unknown energy. It operates in the background, tirelessly structuring your life in accordance with the mental patterns and foundational ideas that you hold most dear. It is amazing to consider that even as you are engaged in the activities of your daily routine, your subconscious is continuously influencing the reality that you experience. It does this without you even being aware of it, functioning for you as if it were an invisible conductor, directing each and every event that takes place in your life. Now, give it some thought. Quantum physics in particular has demonstrated that our thoughts and observations have a direct influence on the things that we experience in the physical world. This is something that modern science has already demonstrated. There is nothing ethereal or mystical that we are discussing. Rather, we are talking about something that is measured and real. On the most fundamental level, scientists have shown that the act of seeing can modify the behavior of particles, so transforming possibilities into tangible realities. This discovery was made by scientists. On the other hand, how does all of this relate to your thoughts? What does this imply for your capacity to bring your desires into existence and to build the reality that you want for yourself? The adventure that we shall take today is one that will extend our viewpoint. I really hope that you are able to give yourself permission to be more receptive to learning about your subconscious. It's possible that what you're about to learn will upend the way you currently see the way reality operates. In light of this, let us investigate the secret power of your subconscious mind and find out how it subtly dictates the path that your reality takes. Learn how to use the power of your subconscious mind to your benefit, and this is the most crucial thing you can do. Well, the first point of our journey is if observing is enough to change possibilities into realities, what does it truly mean to observe the world around you? When we speak of the way in which reality is created, we are speaking to something that is significantly more profound than plain perception. Quantum physics, among the most fascinating subfields in contemporary scientific research, gives a powerful key to understanding how our thoughts and attention shape what we experience. A fundamental concept in quantum physics is the observer impact. This concept says that on a subatomic level, particles exist in a state of potential. They are essentially unknown unless they are observed. This means that the simple act of focusing on anything paying attention to an object or possibility causes the particle to, to choose a certain state, becoming something concrete in the physical world. In simple terms, your observation defines reality. Now, if we consider that everything around us, from the simplest items to the stars in the sky, is made up of these same particles, it brings us to an interesting thought. Our attention, our conscious concentration, literally changes how the environment organizes itself around us. When you focus on anything, that attention starts a quantum process that turns possibilities into physical reality. Your mind, more specifically your attention, is one of the primary influences in producing physical reality. So, what was once viewed as something entirely spiritual now finds its way into reality? It finds a reflection in scientific breakthroughs. This is what promotes the practice of manifestation. Every time you focus on a desire, on a goal, you are practically shaping the universe around you. Since modern science has already established that the observer has a direct impact on what is observed, this leads us to the following conclusion. If our focus guides matter, 
we have the power to actively create the reality we wish. And since this conscious creation is anchored in the basic laws that govern our existence, we need to understand how we might align our thoughts with this power that subtly operates on everything around us. If we already realize that reality is shaped by our attention and observation, a fundamental question arises. What is controlling most of that attention? Well, here is where the role of the subconscious mind comes into play. Although the conscious mind is the part of us that perceives, reasons, and makes active decisions, it's simply the tip of the iceberg. In truth, the underlying engine behind most of our actions, ideas, and habits is the subconscious. Think of the subconscious as a gigantic archive where all your life experiences, beliefs, memories, and behavioral patterns are stored. It's like an autopilot that directs your life without you needing to be aware of it. Research estimates that 95% of what we do daily is guided by this subconscious mechanism, leaving only a small fraction of our choices and activities under conscious control. This means that, as much as we believe we are making decisions deliberately, most of the time we are simply following pre-established programs within us. The conscious mind, the component you employ to reason and focus, represents only around 5% of your brain activity. You can make slight modifications here and there, but the main course is decided by the subconscious. What makes this even more interesting is that, although the conscious mind is preoccupied with the minutia of the immediate present, the subconscious is responsible for the entire background of your existence based on patterns it has acquired over time. And here's the essential point. The way we react to circumstances, what we attract into our life, and even what we notice around us are influenced by these subconscious patterns. If a person, for example, has been conditioned to believe that success is hard to accomplish, this subconscious belief may filter out all prospects for success, leading them to focus more on barriers than solutions. It's as if they're wearing glasses that alter reality according to what has previously been realized. By how they're able to influence the reality around them, they make up for some of the flaws. And if this is all the time they're making, it works. What's significant is that the subconscious is very responsible for creating our reality into reality. Regardless of what the outward environment delivers, since the subconscious is responsible for most of our decisions, it is also responsible for creating our world according to deeply entrenched beliefs. To materialize your deepest desires, it's vital to link your subconscious with those aspirations. This is where the power of reprogramming comes in. The subconscious works through repetition, continuous exposure to new information. Just like software can be updated, you can insert new codes into your subconscious so that it starts working in your favor. This reprogramming process involves replacing limiting beliefs, which are often invisible to the conscious mind, with new beliefs aligned with your goals. But how do we do this? It's possible through techniques like affirmations and visualizations, where you can start shaping your subconscious to notice and create new opportunities that were previously out of reach. However, this transformation requires consistency. Just as the subconscious mind absorbs patterns over years, it also needs time and practice to absorb new patterns that favor your goals and dreams over time. This reprogramming process creates alignment between what we're doing and what we're not doing. What you consciously desire and what your subconscious believes is feasible. When the two are in harmony, your power to materialize what you want grows enormously. Mental programming occurs mainly through two pillars, repetition and focus. Repetition in this sense is one of the most potent techniques for forming new beliefs in the subconscious. Just as acquiring a new talent involves ongoing practice, reprogramming the mind requires consistently repeating the concepts you want to become your reality. Every time you repeat an idea, an affirmation, or a vision, you are strengthening the neural circuit connected with that concept in your mind. 
Over time, this repeated thinking becomes part of your subconscious pattern, and when anything is absorbed by the subconscious, it starts to operate automatically without conscious effort. For example, if you consistently repeat the concept that you are a successful person, that abundance comes readily to you, your subconscious mind begins to embrace that fact and work in your favor to create it. However, if you repeat feelings of shortage or insecurity, that cycle repeats, regardless of your conscious objectives. This is why concentrated repetition is vital to transform the mental habits that shape your life. The second pillar is focus. Mental programming also occurs through concentration on what you wish to feel. The subconscious mind is tremendously powerful, but it doesn't distinguish between what you want and what you don't want. It just responds to focus. This suggests that if you focus on issues, problems, or what is lacking in your life, you will be able to improve your life. The subconscious reinforces those conditions, drawing more of the same experience. On the other side, when you consciously focus on what you desire, whether it's happiness, success, or prosperity, the subconscious mind responds by modifying your perception and behavior to fit with that desire. This behavior is known as selective attention, which is the process by which the brain filters information and focuses solely on what corresponds with our beliefs and mental processes. Have you ever had your mind set on a particular car model and suddenly you start noticing that model more and more everywhere you go? It doesn't imply those cars weren't there before, but your selective attention began to filter them, making them more obvious. The same thing happens with opportunities in life. If your subconscious mind is designed to focus on obstacles or failures, that's a positive thing. If your subconscious mind is set to focus on exactly what you'll see around you, even if opportunities are accessible. So it's vital to encourage new thought patterns and beliefs that coincide with your goals. This takes more than simply a surface modification. It's vital to adjust the basis on which our minds work. There are numerous practices that can help in this process. Positive affirmations, for example, are a wonderful tool. By continuously expressing statements that represent the reality you want to create, you are progressively influencing how your subconscious understands and reacts to the world. But affirmations must be accompanied by feeling. When you picture and confirm something with true emotion, feeling as if you are actually living that reality, the subconscious accelerates the process of acceptance and manifestation. Another excellent technique to reinforce new patterns is through creative imagery. When we create elaborate situations where we are already experiencing the life we desire, we are programming the subconscious to seek those experiences in the real world, in our reality. This activity is not merely a mental exercise. It's a means to align your mind and emotions with the world you wish to create. When you picture with clarity and emotion, you're instructing your brain that this is the road to take. As you picture, you're instructing your brain that this is the road to follow. As you picture, you're instructing your brain that this is the road to follow. When you maintain your focus and regularly repeat these new beliefs, they replace the old ones, allowing your subconscious mind to operate in your favor. If you give it limiting thoughts, it will manifest a limited reality. If you feed it beliefs of development, abundance, and happiness, it will align your behavior and perception with that new reality. So in summation, reality becomes a mirror reflecting what you have nurtured inwardly. Energy follows attention. This seemingly simple phrase carries one of the most profound principles that control the manifestation of reality. Wherever you focus, you direct your energy, and where that energy is invested, the construction of new realities begins to take shape. It's at this moment that we begin to recognize how focus, ideas, and emotions impact the environment around us in ways that often go unnoticed. Quantum physics shows us that, on a fundamental level, everything in the cosmos is energy. 
there is no obvious border between matter and energy. Both are different representations of the same essence. When we apply this understanding to the concept of manifestation, we learn that our thoughts, being forms of energy, have the potential to impact what emerges in our experience. This happens because energy is continuously in motion, and wherever we put our attention, it follows. The way this works in practical terms is simple but deep. Repetition of thoughts and feelings. Every time you think of something, especially if that notion is laden with emotion, you are producing an energetic frequency. This frequency, in turn, reverberates throughout the quantum field, interacting with other similar forms of energy. The more you repeat the same thought or feed the same energy, the more you reinforce that energy until it solidifies in the material world. Continuous repetition creates an energetic field that draws experiences that correspond to the frequency being radiated, whether negative or positive. In this way, energy pursues that course, drawing circumstances that reflect those emotions. But here's an important element. Focus must be intentional and mindful. The more you focus, the more you are conscious. Often, people are focused on problems or challenges without realizing that this instinctive focus is creating more of what they don't want. The subconscious mind doesn't distinguish between what you want and what you don't want. It just follows what you concentrate your attention on, like a magnet attracting situations according to the sort of energy you emit. This idea that the subconscious mind acts as a magnet for energy, is a magnet for the realities we focus on, is based precisely on how repeated mental patterns combined with emotion shape the energy around us. For example, if you constantly imagine yourself in a successful situation, the subconscious mind starts adjusting your thoughts, actions, and even how you perceive the world so that you naturally begin attracting opportunities that resonate with that mental state. The subconscious works like a receiver and transmitter of energy. It captures the frequencies you emit, reinforces them based on repetition, and then attracts realities that match those frequencies. When this process happens, intentionally, you can align your beliefs and actions with the results you desire making your subconscious work for you, not against you. And when we talk about mental programming, one key subject is neuroplasticity. One of the most important concepts when it comes to reprogramming the mind, neuroplasticity is the brain's ability to form and reorganize neural connections especially in response to new learning experiences or repeated thoughts. Simply put, the brain is like a garden. Wherever you put more attention and care, new connections flourish. When you repeat certain patterns of thought and behavior, these neural pathways strengthen becoming the preferred roots. The brain uses this explains why certain habits and beliefs become automatic. The brain has been trained through repetition to follow those roots easily. This characteristic is what allows us to consciously reconfigure the brain. Even if negative patterns have been established over the years, they are not permanent. The brain is constantly in a state of flow ready to be shaped by new patterns. And this is where practices like visualization meditation and affirmations come into play as powerful tools to mold neuroplasticity in favor of your goals. Interestingly, the brain doesn't distinguish between a real experience and a vivid visualization. The same brain areas are activated in both cases. This means that by repeatedly visualizing your goals, you are preparing your brain to notice and respond to opportunities that will help you bring that vision to life. Similarly, Meditation has a dramatic impact on neuroplasticity. Through frequent practice, meditation not only calms the mind, but also modifies the structure of the brain, strengthening areas related with attention, emotional management, and perception. When you meditate, you learn to direct your attention purposefully, lessening the inclination to follow automatic subconscious patterns. This allows space for new connections to form, consistent, with the conscious thoughts you wish to cultivate. That's the power of neuroplasticity, the fact that, with effort and dedication, 
you can physically modify the way your brain works, opening the way for a reality that reflects your ambitions and goals. Remember, the subconscious doesn't question, it simply executes. Thank you for embarking on this adventure with me. If this video connected with you, I welcome you to like and subscribe to our channel. Share this video with others so they can benefit from this message. And don't forget to leave a comment below sharing your views, reflections, and experiences. Thanks again for viewing and for joining me. Take care and see you shortly.